G'day everybody, got a serious question today, have you seen the light? The last few, few videos I did were on uh, old rangefinder cameras and I did three of them. I did the rather complex but lovely Konica 2A, no light meter. I did the beautiful, simple, thoroughly excellent Canon P, no light meter. And I did the more uh, budget friendly Petri 7S, which has a light meter. So if you're out there walking around with your lovely old rangefinder, could be a Leica, I don't know. You're moving around between shadow and light. How do you judge your light? Well, some of these old things came with add-on light meters. And you can still get some, but a lot of them don't work anymore, or they need adjusting, they're not really reliable. So is there a better solution? There is, of course, apps on your phone. I've got an app on here, does uh, exposure for light metering, and I use that sometimes. Or if you happen to have a digital camera on you, you can do the same settings, set the uh, ISO to match the ASA of the film and the shutter speed that you want and then uh, work out there your f-stops or vice versa. So you can use your digital camera <laughs> as a light meter for your old film camera. But isn't there a better way? Well, thanks to Kex, there is. Now Kex make an add-on light meter that goes on the uh, cold shoes of these old cameras. A little external thing. You can adjust the uh, the ASA on that and you can set it up to shutter priority or aperture priority and go from there. So after seeing that online I looked at it a bit and I thought oh that might be handy I'll take the plunge and I'll order one. Now it took a while to come for two things one is they don't have a warehouse full of them they tend to make them as they get ordered uh, and there's two versions a black version for black cameras and a silver version for uh, the, the silver type cameras. So depending on your aesthetics, you order silver or black. And sometimes they're black and not silver, sometimes silver and not black. So sometimes you have to wait for them to make some more, which was what happened in my case. They didn't have any silver ones. I had to wait for them to make a batch of silver ones and then send them off all the way to the other side of the world from America to Australia. So it did take a little while. However, I'm a patient man. So it turned up in this uh, nice black box and it's got a QR code thing on the back that you could scan to find out more about Kex, Kex cameras or look them up online. So we'll open up the box. Nicely padded, which is a good thing. Going around the world. And inside there's a few things. First there's this little plastic bag and it's got cold shoe feet on it. And uh, there's a couple in the bag and there's one on the actual unit. I remember while I was researching these, some guy, oh, I don't know if I trust a company. They don't guarantee that they'll last very long. No, it's not that at all. They send you three because they're different widths. Okay, and you choose the width of the cold shoe to match your camera. And you can easily remove them. They supply an Allen key with it. And on the bottom, there's three screws and you can undo them, replace either the cold shoe mount or you can even move the cold shoe mount sideways. You can have it mounted in the middle, bit to the side of the middle or hard up against one side depending on uh, how you want it to sit on top of your camera. So up there for thinking kicks, good stuff and to supply all three sizes I think is a good move so well done. Also in the box is a charger, USB-C and straight into your, uh, your USB port, charge it up from your computer or laptop or whatever. So that's very handy. Plug it in there. So packaging was fine and everything came in the box looking absolutely great. So. I adjusted the hot shoe to suit. I changed it actually, changed the different size to suit my Canon 
uh, moved it across to where I wanted it so that I could then mount it on the cold shoe of the cannon. So there you go. And I chose the silver one because the cameras I would be using it on silver bodies. So that's it there on the Canon P and uh, it's looking mighty fine. It's not an exact match of silver but I think it's better than having the black one on the silver body. And here it is on my Konica 2A. So again looking like it was made for it. So very happy with that. Okay so just how to use this uh, this Kex light meter. There are instructions that came in the box on the back of the lid and the instructions are sort of um, a bit incomplete shall we say. Press metering button. There's no corresponding labels here saying which is the metering button. Uh, press aperture button. There's no uh, way of telling which is the aperture button. So you have to play around with it a bit. In the end I found out this is the metering button. It's also the on off button. And then you got four buttons on top and you have to figure out which of these is the aperture button, which one's the shutter speed button, which one then is up or down, higher or lower for the shutter speed or the aperture. So <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kex has no one, has no one ever asked you or told you about this because uh, when you say press aperture button there's nothing here on your diagram to show you which one you're talking about. Well the shutter speed, press shutter speed button. <laughs> which one of the four is it? <sighs> Could you please redo your labels? Okay, it wouldn't take much <laughs> um, and then it'll be a bit less confusing. So what I'm going to do to test this thing, because sometimes when I've been out with the digital camera as well as my uh, analog, I do take my settings on my digital camera and then transfer it to the analog. I use this as basically as a light meter for the film camera. Or sometimes I use the, the app on the phone and I'm not going to recommend any particular one. You can get plenty of them and what you do is you, you set your ISO to match your film stock. You can then see what sort of f-stop and shutter speed you need. Okay, so very simple, but it's another device that you have to have in your hand to use as well as your camera. Whereas this device sits on your on top of your camera and because you're carrying your camera you don't need another hand to carry a light meter. And good old modern technology, it's half the size of the, uh, the bulkier units that you used to have to get back in the 60s for these cameras. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trial the Kex light meter against the inbuilt light meter in the Petri and my digital camera readings and the app on the phone. And I'll just see how the Kex stacks up against those other three sources of light metering information. We'll see how we go. So okay I know some of you are yelling at your screen but what sort of metering is it? Well it's average metering okay it's not spot metering it's, it's nothing fancy it's the total area of the view it's looking at that it meters which is a limitation because on digital cameras you can do all sorts of different meterings and be very very clever. However an alternative to not having any sort of light meeting, light meter uh, for your camera is the Sunny 16 rule, which is average. It's like you sort of have to get to know what you're looking at and where your highlights, or where you want your highlights to be, how dark you want your shadows to be, and compensate accordingly. And that's just experience. Okay, so although uh, any light meter is probably better than none you still have to use your head <laughs> okay in your own creative choices as you uh, take photos okay so on my digital camera got the ISO set to 200 and running on aperture priority it's on 5.6 shutter speed on auto and taking a reading and you're looking at around 125th of a second at 5.6 Going by my phone app, set at ISO 200, 
look at the scene and the scene there 5.6 and it's varying around about 125th of a second that's good with the Petri 7S it's on 5.6 there ISO 200 and I'll look through the viewfinder at the meter and I'll match the shutter speed and it's also saying 125th of a second so what is this one telling us I've set the ISO at 200 and I'll set the f-stop down to 5.6 take a reading oh look at that 120 125th of a second so there you go just by that simple little test all systems agree that that shot there at 200 ISO f5.6 should be taken at about 125th of a second so that's good to know that the phone app the old Petri camera the modern digital camera uh, all agree with the Kex light meter there you go I'm quite happy with the Kex uh, it looks good it works fine the instructions though <laughs> yeah fix them make it uh, more clearer than mud and everybody will be happier but a bit of playing around and you'll get used to it so I make these videos mainly for fun click the like button subscribe buy me a coffee there's a link down below okay there's no affiliate links there's <laughs> if you're looking to buy a Kex thing you, you there's no affiliate link here go to their website check them out but whatever you do pick up your camera light meter or not take it for a walk and have some fun bye